hey, this is the second time you've attempted to record this video. The first time I asked him to take his pictures, he didn't realize it, so that didn't make much of any sense. So, yeah. Um, basically, this video is going to be something a little bit different than normal. It's not going to be a hair tutorial. It's not going to be like a hair vlog or anything like that. I do have other videos planned, um, but that is not what today's video is about. Um, so, for the longest time since I was little, I remember always having some sort of pet in the house. Cats, dogs, at one point to my mother's chagrin, I had snakes, frogs, tadpoles, <laughs> all kinds of different things. So, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how she put up with me for all these years doing that stuff. But, um, yeah, uh, I decided since um, my husband and I have moved into our new apartment and our landlady didn't really mind us having small pets in the house, like parakeets, or like guinea pigs, or cats, or something like that. Um, I decided that for my birthday month, since I missed my birthday entirely, too much stuff was going on on my birthday, but I decided for my birthday month I was going to get myself a pet. So, um, yeah, I, we adopted a cat last Saturday and we picked him up on Monday. Um, he's uh, one and a half years old. He's a black cat. He is beautiful, and I've always really wanted a black cat. Um, the thing is, when I was when I was going down to our local humane society where I adopted him, I was kind of nervous because I was like, "What if they don't have any? Or what if what if all of the ones that are there are really mean or cantankerous or something like that?" Like, I I shouldn't have been worried at all because the the cat that we adopted he is one and a half years old male he's been um, neutered already and he's had his first vaccination shots on the day when I picked him up um, but the way the process at the humane society works is that you go there you have someone take you in the back you pick out which animal you would like to adopt from what I remember of their billboard. Kittens are $35, grown cats are $15, um, adult dogs are $5, and then puppies are half the price of that. Now, you have to be really careful when you're considering adopting a pet because they do ask you a lot of questions like, um, how much time do you plan on spending with this pet? Who's going to take care of this pet when you're not there? Uh, is, are you in a safe and closed space to have this animal? Um, like. Uh, would you, would, can you afford actually taking care of this pet? They kind of take all of these things into consideration because they don't want the worst case scenario where either the animal gets harmed or you bring the animal back because you weren't, you know, you realize at the last minute that you weren't prepared to take care of this animal. So, um, yeah. Um, my husband and I, we had been talking about it for a while and we both agreed that we, we wanted a cat because our... The landowner of our apartment doesn't really like the idea of having dogs in the yard since there are multiple families living in the same yard, which is fine because I find dogs a little bit loud, so um, the cat is fine with me. Uh, initially, we had wanted to adopt a kitten, but when I found out that kittens were $35 to adopt, that kind of put a stop to that. And um, in actuality, I prefer older cats because they seem to be a lot more calm. They, they don't. Um, need nearly as much attention as a younger kitten. And um, even though I'm on vacation this week and I would have had the time to spend with the animal and get them acclimated and stuff, it still would have been an issue when I had to go back to work or whenever we have to leave the house. And um, I noticed that kittens tend to do a whole lot more mischievousness like climbing on furniture and ripping things up and stuff like that. And I, I just wasn't willing to deal with that this time around. So we, we got a cat and his name is Green Slade. He is like the most chill cat I have ever met. Like when I got to the, the Humane Society, they have this cage out back um, with like 12 or so cats. It's a pretty large enclosed space and they have a lot of litter boxes and food dishes so that no one ever has to fight over like um, space or anything like that. It was well ventilated. Um, which I'm really glad for, because the last time I was there a few years back, the cattery was essentially like the size of a studio apartment with like one or two windows with a bunch of cages in it. It wasn't very well ventilated, it wasn't very well lit, and the Humane Society basically runs off of donations, so, excuse me, so uh, they were finally able to I guess earn enough funds so that they can upgrade the areas where they keep their animals like the dogs and the cats and stuff like that so it's a lot more well ventilated and it's a lot more healthy for the animals which I'm very glad for. 
Um, so yeah, we adopted Green Slade. Um, like I said, he's one and a half years old. He's male, and he is the coolest cat I know. Uh, he has this odd habit I've noticed of uh, sleeping in our bathroom cabinet, which I had to kind of shift a couple of things around because I think when we first got here, he was a little bit panicked. He was completely cool when we were at the Humane Society. He sat quietly in the cat carrier, gave no Fs the entire ride in the car. Um, but as we, we were going up the stairs to our apartment, and I actually laid the carrier down on the inside, I guess all of the different smells in such a strange environment just kind of triggered like a nervous reaction in him. So his first, rea so his first reaction was to find a, a nice quiet corner to hide in, which was our bathroom cabinet. Which, you know what, is totally understandable. You're in a new environment, there are so many different things you don't understand, you don't know if the area is safe or anything like that, but it's been a day or two since we brought him home on Monday, so he seems to be a lot more comfortable, he's more willing to walk around the apartment and just kind of hang out with me and my husband, so yeah, he, he's calming down, he's getting quite acclimated to things. Um, one of the things I do like about adopting pets from the Humane Society, cats and kittens in particular, is the fact that since they have the litter boxes in the cages where they have the cats while they're being held for adoption, they're already litter trained for the most part. So um, Green Slade didn't have any issue as far as when he got home, I showed him where the litter box was once or twice, and when he had to do whatever it was he had to do, he pretty much just did it, and I didn't have to worry about meeting any surprises on the carpet. Which would have been terrible because I don't have a steamer to steam the carpet. Wait, I forgot. The Humane Society is actually located in Chippingham, just around the corner from Arawak Key and Botanical Gardens. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link to their um, their website and maybe their Facebook page and stuff like that in case you guys wanted to adopt a pet of your own. Make sure you are prepared to do that because it is a great responsibility and. Um, I, I wouldn't advise giving like really small pets to small children or something like that. Just make sure that the kids are mature enough to be able to handle that kind of responsibility because it's it's not it's it hurts my heart to see small children abuse animals or see anyone abuse animals really. So yeah, I'll leave their information in the description box below and. Um, if you feel like making donations to the Humane Society, they, they do take monetary donations as well as volunteer work. Um, so yeah, make sure you, if you're interested, just go into the resources I have linked below and let them know that you're interested in either adopting or, you know, volunteering or making a donation or something like that. This is one of the, the few places that I, I really am glad that it's been open all of these years. Um, so, yeah, it means a lot to me whenever people support the Humane Society because, um, as I mentioned in my previous thrift store haul videos, they do have a thrift store that um, sales from the thrift store feed into the Humane Society and allow them to be able to pay the workers, pay for food and, and shelter for these animals. So it'd be, it means so much to me if you would support them. So I'll leave all their information down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good morning everyone, Melissa here again. Um, I am here up the street from the Bahamas Humane Society. I'm gonna be picking up a new friend today, so I'm excited. So hopefully they'll let me record some stuff, otherwise you're gonna see some really choppy footage of what goes on today. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, back home again. Uh, the first part of my video was kind of me outlining the fact that I was getting a new housemate, I guess you can call him, and I'm going to introduce you to him. Green Slade, say hi, honey. <laughs> he's been doing this all day since he's gotten home. Just look at how glossy your coat is. I need to figure out what kind of hair, nail, well, fur, and claw vitamins they've been giving you. So yeah, I'm sorry. This is officially going to be one of those, you know, YouTube channels where we have cat videos. I do apologize in advance. If you do not like the cuteness, please unsubscribe immediately because he will be showing up in other videos. I do apologize, but not really. So anyway, uh, sensible videos will be coming up soon. Uh, just wanted to do this quick blurb introducing you to my new little friend Green Slade. He is so sweet. He is so chill. Like, this guy... 
has not made a single peep from the time that I have met him. I think he may have meowed once, but he gives no ass. Kind of like the inspector. So, <laughs> Inspector Greenslate, that's what I'm going to probably call you. So, yeah. Um, this video is going to be totally short. Sorry that it is, and you will see more constructive videos coming from me in the upcoming weeks. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.